The other piece is trade decisioning. So uh, Charlie covered this perfectly when he was talking about deep learning. So today, most trade systems are looking at ticks. I'm looking at trades. I'm looking at the market. I've, I've aggregated the past, and I'm kind of matching it a little bit with what's going on now. But there's a, ne a need to be able to look at trends, too. So new data sources are providing more insight. So whether it's coming from blogs, tweets, news reports, you know, election coverage, you know, oil prices dropping, um, you know, SEC uh, violations, anything that might cause a trend in a market or, or by a company, getting ahead of that curve makes us, helps us make better trade decisions. And so with Kinetica, we're able to ingest that data and we're able to either pull out specific keywords or do some sort of a document score and look for trends and get a document difference. And you're able to take that calculation and match that up with your ticks and trades to be able to get a better trade decision. It's you know, unlocking net new opportunities, getting ahead of the curve. And, and a lot of times, a lot of these messages go on in the market through a news report that no one notices. And then two weeks later, you see a market drop or you see a specific company's stock fluctuate one way or another. And getting ahead of that curve is the, best, the next best decision for all of us to get, you know, identify trends before it does sh uh, shift in the market.